Hi, Mike Mazzalonga with BibleTalk.tv, and you're watching the series 10 Steps to the New Spiritual You, a small group study for mature Christians. This is session number seven, entitled Humility. So we're studying about the spiritual disciplines that help us become more godly. The definition of discipline, something that no one likes but all admire, or something that is done in obscurity for the sake of excellence. For example, Olympic 100-meter runners practice and discipline themselves for four long years for an event that lasts 10 seconds. Now, on the spiritual level, you cannot achieve godliness without developing discipline. As Paul says, discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Godliness, however, is not like music or sports, because there's no public performance in mind. We pursue spiritual disciplines for only one reason, and that is to achieve godliness. In this session, we'll examine the seventh spiritual discipline in our study, which is humility. Now, most people see humility as a virtue, like a quality of character, rather than a discipline. And you ask, well, what's the difference? Well, a virtue is something you possess, whereas a discipline is something you practice. You practice humility. You don't possess it. As you practice it, it becomes part of your character. The greatest danger is thinking you possess or can actually use humility, because when you do this, it becomes pride. Let's talk about some common attitudes regarding humility. First of all, it is not popular or admired in our culture. We want to be first or famous, and humility, true humility, gets in the way of this. Number two, we appreciate humility in others, but we rarely want it for ourselves. Uh, We like humble people around us because, for the most part, they don't threaten our position. We would rather work on humility after we get to the top. For example, even Jesus' disciples were like this. In Mark 9, 33 to 35, Mark uh, writes that uh, this was the, the only thing that they talked about. Who was the greatest? Humility is more about what we seek than who we become. Number three, humility is not the result of low self esteem. People who do not like themselves are not automatically humble. On the contrary, people who practice the discipline of humility are usually secure and aware of their talents and gifts. An honest assessment of your true value helps one to practice the disciplines necessary to cultivate true humility, and we'll talk about this later. Number four, we can measure our success in practicing humility as a discipline. The things that we do to practice humility can be seen and measured. When, however, we stop practicing and simply consider ourselves humble, we easily fall into pride and the errors pride makes. Let's talk about the battle for a humble heart. I think we all like the idea of having a humble heart, but pause when considering the struggle that this requires. Jesus says the following in Mark chapter 10, verses 43 to 45. But it is not this way among you, but whoever wishes to become great among you shall be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you shall be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Disciples practice humility as a natural part of Christian living. Paul, for example, says in Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, Do nothing from selfish or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. So this is what Christian humility looks like in the church. First, remove selfish motivation. In other words, not just my wants. Number two, become less conceited. In other words, actively think of others. Number three, consider others more important than self. 
others' needs, in other words, and priorities before my own needs and priorities. And finally, serve others. Our focus on serving others, not just serving ourselves. So I have a question. How can I do this? And what is my motivation? Well, the answer to these questions is Jesus himself. Jesus' person. He was perfect. Jesus' life was filled with service. Jesus' sacrifice was complete. And Jesus' motivation was his love for you and for me. And so my focus on Jesus produces gratitude, and my gratitude motivates my discipline of humility. So here are three things to do in order to practice the discipline of humility. First of all, sit on the desire to promote self. You need to understand that God gives to each his or her talents. He can also create opportunities to use them. And so we need to trust God to promote you when the time is right and rely on him when your calling comes. Number two, stand up for others. In other words, look for opportunities to serve those who seem less deserving. It's easy to dismiss the poor, those who are weak, but God has called on us to serve these very people. Standing up to meet the needs of others truly develops a humble character in ourselves. And thirdly, bow low before God. Give God all your worries. Offer him all your thanks for blessings. Rely on him completely for every part of your life. This practice of lowering yourself will train your spirit in the discipline of humility. Now, the discipline of humility is always an act of faith, always difficult. However, it is also always rewarding. And the reward of a humble heart is peace of mind and peace of spirit in Christ Jesus. Well, that's our session on humility. We have a couple of questions for you to use in your small group, and we'll be back next time for our next lesson. Question number one, describe the type of pride or its display that you dislike the most. Question number two, what do you believe is the greatest obstacle in your efforts to develop a humble heart? Question number three, describe a time or situation when you were able to truly exhibit a humble attitude. Question number four, who, aside from Jesus, is your hero of humility and why? Question number five, which of the tips is the most difficult for you to practice? Why? And which one do you find easy? Why?